Well, we're back for another evaluation, and we have a really fine piece here. What is it, Ken? You say that like you don't mean it. I do mean it. But you said it like you did. The sun rises and sets in the CZ plant in, Czech, <laughs> in the Czech Republic. This is a CZ550. And we do like this gun yeah. a great deal. Uh, right up front, I've you've probably heard me say before, if I'm going to go out and buy a production gun right now, the CZ550 is the version, that, you know, a version of it that I would buy. Yep. Whatever caliber I wanted in sight. What caliber is this one? 308. 308. Mm -hmm. How come it's not an Hot 6? Hot 6 is better in every way. I don't. This is the one Jack got forced to look at. Oh, damn, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> the Hot 6, I had to buy it. As much as we like this gun, there are a couple things that we don't like. Uh, this one is the detachable magazine mm -hmm. version. There are some that, of course, are standard bottom metal. Every once in a while, the, the magazine, Whoop. oh, Whoop. dang it. Oh. We put it it's got to go in front first, um, and then it, it catches. Oh. And, oh. and the rhino just gored me. Yeah. So, you know, that is something that I don't care for. Um, what else did we not like? The firing pin tip is a little on the rough side. Yeah, pretty minor, but it is. Okay, the firing pin is a little rough. You can see it kind of here. It's a minor point, but it disappoints me for CZ. I'd like it to be a little bit smoother. I'm after perfection. After all, this is the best gun in the world. I, no. I wouldn't go there, but... <laughs> uh, one other minor thing that I do not care for. Um, again, I'm a Mauser aficionado, but the bolt sleeve does not have a bolt sleeve lock. You can just grab it and twist it. Just a, just a detent like some of the others. Cocking piece in the, in the back of the bolt. Uh, the other, one other minor thing that I didn't, don't care for. Is the caulking cam isn't as thick, isn't as wide here as I like. I prefer a little wider. I do like the claw type extractor and I know that you like that claw type extractor. The ejector is down does not bisect the left locking lug. Yeah. Well, that's a, uh, a lot of people get all wound up on that. I don't see it as a problem. chronic issue, but this is stronger, so mm -hmm. therefore better. It is stronger and it is better. It has a safety lug. Mm -hmm. And if I remember right, it touched. Just barely, but it touched, if I remember right. The uh, buttress threads on the bolt sleeve, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Also show them the T-shaped caulking piece. You see how the threads, instead of being a V like this, they come straight up and over, straight up and over. The stress, of course, is back on this thing, so you have a 90 degree shoulder. That's a stronger type of thread than a V thread. Uh, I think the Germans came up with that, but I'm not sure in the Mauser 98. Ever hear of a Mauser 98? Yep. I bet you have. I've seen one or two. <laughs> show them the caulking piece. T-shaped caulking piece, or I will, and I'll explain yeah. why it's a good thing. Go for it. Looking at the caulking piece from the rear, you can see how we got a flange on each side. That flange, or tongue if you will, fits inside these grooves, one here and one here. So with wear and tear on your gun, it keeps the caulking piece in the same position. It can't slide up or ride up the sear. On a lot of the more modern guns, the sear is a negative angle, so as the cocking piece comes forward, it hits it, it slides up and pushes the sear down as far as the sear will go until it hits the trigger. So the sear moves down until it stops, then the inclined plane forces the cocking piece up as far as it'll go, and it puts an unnecessary bind on those parts. That T-shape keeps that cocking piece in position. It's just a, just a cool feature. This is your bolt stop. It's massive and all steel. The whole, the whole gun is steel. There's no, no plastic or aluminum in it, which I like. They do have a set trigger, single set trigger. Close the gun. Pull the trigger. Ooh, nice pull. Nice pull. Close it. Push our trigger forward. Better pull. <laughs> Just an added feature. You know, you're hunting, you're not going to be setting that unless you get a chance to lay down, put your pack down, really take a good rest, sight in, set that forward, and then precisely pull on the game animal that you're shooting at. But 
elk jumps up 30 feet in front of you, you just pull up, bang. And it's a good crisp pull. Uh, now, I was going to say that the gun's all steel, no plastic and aluminum, but Bob caught me. The floor plate on the detachable magazine is aluminum. Uh, At least it's not plastic. Yeah. On some of these, I have seen, when they've come in the shop, a plastic follower, but if you call CZ, they will send you a steel one. Uh, so, you know, it's neither here nor there. I would get the standard bottom metal anyway for yeah, myself, yeah. and then I wouldn't worry about it. But, again, that's personal preference. So, the safety pulls back, is on, forward is off. That's what the Americans, us, we're used to that. We're not used to the other. That was a complaint on the early CZs, is that the safety pushed forward to be on, pulled back to be mm -hmm. off. So they've, they've corrected that, so now we're used to it. One minor thing I don't care for is I don't like the little teeny dog leg and the little teeny bolt right here, but that, that's a cosmetic feature. It has nothing to do with the function of the firearm. They shoot well. And they're, they're yeah. less expensive than most guns. And, and yet, overall, they're better than most guns. Yeah, that's right. So... You know, without spending a lot of money going with your super custom actions and, and things like that. I'm not a great fan of built-in scope mounts, but CZs had them on a lot of their guns forever. Uh, I don't really think it's a bad thing. I just don't care for it. And see, I, it doesn't bother me at all. Yeah. I don't see it as a as I a think definite. that I get a bad taste from Ruger because theirs is so bulky and so big, and sometimes they're off, and there's just nothing you can do about it. So I got... I used to mount a lot of scopes on Rugers that we sold this is a long time ago. And I get so sick and tired of, that I have to change the rings around and switch parts and, until I could get the scope to line up. And in fact, I used to... Uh, <laughs> See, now I haven't seen that problem on the Rugers lately. No, we don't mount that much, and I think Rugers got on top of it. Yeah. It's better and than and again, I don't see it as a problem. It's one less thing to work loose. Yeah. Well, no, I, I, know, I think it's just a bad connotation on my part. It's a good idea, and CZ's had it for... Forever. 80 years, yeah. yeah. Long time, 80 years. A long time. Yeah. Uh, anyway, overall, I, yeah, once again, I went into this telling everybody up front that I don't want to say I'm biased. It, it's These are things that I like. These are things that are important in a bolt-action rifle, and they're the things that I like. Uh, I don't, you know, a lot of people go, oh, he just doesn't like that because of whatever. On the guns that we evaluate... I don't dislike a gun just to wake up one morning and go, hey, you know what? I'm going to dislike Joe Spivey's Model Q. There's going to be a reason I dislike it, and that's why we do these evaluations. We lay it out. This is what I like. This is what I don't like. It doesn't fit my hand. Again, that would be a personal thing, but, again, we let you know. I just noticed something just now. I should have noticed it sooner. This is the double stack magazine. But in line. In line. In Dead line feed. center feeding. Yep. <laughs> Leave it to a check to figure that one out. Bless their little hearts. Yep. I'd, I'd hate to tell Bob, but the Germans came up with that right prior to World War II. The Germans did? Yep. And the Czechs copied it? I don't know. I, on the German shoot, which is the Model 1930, it's a prototype. It was a detachable magazine in line. I'll show you pictures. I got it in one of my books. 1930 Mauser? Mm-hmm. Mauser yeah. Really? Yep. I have not seen it. I'll show you. I got well, That's pictures. a good idea, though. Yeah, I like the straight line. Uh, okay. I don't think it's now, necessary. Now, when did Germany come up with it? 1943? 1930. Oh, 1930? Yeah. Oh, I was going to say 43. I know the Germans saw it in Czechoslovakia when they were there. <laughs> but, but I guess if it was in the 30s, I can't say that. It was in the 30s. It Bummer. Was in the 30s. It might have been 33 so the, or 35, but it was... So CZ copied the Germans. Of course. Well, of course. We know German blood's better. Of course. CZ is only... I mean, Czech is only second best. It's close. Okay, we're going to get this off the jack. Let them uh, do the shooting. I, I don't know how they're going to shoot for accuracy. The gun comes with a set of rings, so I would imagine that Jack's going to mount a scope and they'll go from there. I guess. We'll let them do it. We'll catch you next time.